Welcome friends, it's Diane Hoffman here with another episode of the Live Your Spa Life Show. Spa Life is a lifestyle that accepts that accomplishment and harmony can coexist. You are in for a real treat today with my guest, Stacy Canfield. Stacy Canfield is an acclaimed photographer, author, and personal branding expert who supports women entrepreneurs to become their face of their brand. I know about this because Stacey has been working with me with my brand. So all the beautiful pictures that you've been seeing, this is all because of Stacey. With over 30 years of photography experience, as well as being a formal model herself, she brings both an eye for detail and a heart-centered focus to transforming the image, confidence, and brand of her clientele. So much more than just great pictures, Stacy incorporates personalized elements of color, style, posture, and personality to create photos that truly capture and communicate each client's unique individuality to the world. In today's online world, your image is your brand. Stacy makes sure that you, the true you shines through. Stacy achieved the photography industry's highest degree the master craftsman. Since 1994, she's been a partner in visual photography, a studio located in North County area of San Diego. Her true gift is uncovering and expressing each client's authentic self on film with her fun and nurturing portrait sessions. Stacy's ultimate gift is empowering entrepreneurs to be confident and ready to be the face of their brand. She offers both individual and group programs that will transform your brand, your business, your confidence, and your life. Stacy, welcome, and thank you for being here today to be part of the Spa Life Conversation. Hi, Diane. Thank you so much for including me in your show. I'm so excited to share. Oh, thank you so much. I just love having you here with us. And, you know, uh, a lot of people who've been watching us know that, that you and I not only work together in business, but we do a lot of things personally together that we're in alignment with Spa Life. Yes, we work hard and we play hard. So it's fun. We do. <laughs> Absolutely. So Stacey, our listeners here, you know, we talk about spa life and I always like to remind them that spa life is a lifestyle. It's really how we're choosing to live. And it's important that it has both accomplishment and harmony. And so that both of those can coexist. And it's, it's really part of that living with intention where balance, where you have balance and then it's a life that you truly live. So Stacey, many people live a life of default instead of by design. So what are some of the things that you consciously create that allow you to live your spa life? Thank you for asking that question because it was really in pre preparation for this interview. I really got to think, wow, what do I do that, you know, gives me that spa life feeling? So I think the biggest answer to this is time. I really like to block out time of every day and every week so I get to spend it with the people that I love and top of the list there is my husband, my best friend, and we run four businesses together. So sometimes the weekends is our only downtime to really hang out together. So as all my clients know is I take weekends off. I don't work mm -hmm. on Saturday or Sunday. So it's really important for me to know that I have, um, you know, Saturday to play and Sunday to rest. So I really like Sundays are considered my nesting time. So it's where I get to kind of hang out the house. I get to kind of do my laundry, prepare some foods, hang out with my husband and just have no agenda. So no agenda Sunday is a big thing in our in our household. And then at the end of every day, I really make sure I wrap up around 530 or six o'clock at the very latest. In mm -hmm. fact, um, one of my dearest clients, um, Kristen Nolan, who is a health performance um, expert, health expert. Um, I was working really closely with her on my health and my fitness. And she helped me make sure that I clocked out early every, not early, I clocked out every day at a decent time. So she mm -hmm. even gave me a closed sign to stick over. <laughs> it's a door jam. It just kind of flips over my door and it says closed. So at 5 30 I get to close my door and flip the sign and I'm out for the night I get to enjoy making dinner with my husband and we have our downtime so it's just I try to create space so I'm not my, so my nervous system can relax 
right? right. It's like, yeah. I, I, I eat well, I exercise well, but I think my nervous system needs to kind of relax too. So we try to do that um, at the end of every day and just really, you know, turn the computers off, just relax and enjoy each other. I love that. I love that you create, you know, those boundaries. There's one thing to talk about it, but, you know, we talk, I talk a little about, you know, in your environment because your environment really either pulls you forward and allows you to live the life you want, or it can hold you back. But to physically have like that off sign as an entrepreneur, I mean, as you and I well know, having, you know, studios in our home, you know, it's so easy just to continue working because it's so close. It's just that proximity. It's right there. But to treat it like a store, like a business and have hours where you actually have a open and closed sign, you know, that really does set that boundary of, oh yeah, this is closed. There's another part of my life and that's how I want to live it. So I really love the fact that you incorporate that. And, you know, it's something that, that, you know, you and Daniel really do is that you step into the business life and your life and have that flow. So that, that is amazing. Is that something that you have always done in your business or is that something that you've evolved? How is it that you're able to do that consistently? It's definitely evolved. And I'll say that in this digital age, which you know, the digital age really affected my industry a lot, um, you, you didn't have to like photograph your images and send them off to a lab and then you would wait a week before you could really get the work done. Now it's like everything's speed up so quickly. I download my images immediately after the session and I can actually go to work. So I had to learn how to balance all of that work. And just because I have the images, I need to kind of still create a balanced workflow. So in this age where, you know, your phone is with you, 24 seven and you have the ability to answer emails on the fly or you have the ability to you know have sit at a restaurant and return emails <laughs> my husband and i had to just realize you know what put that device away and I get guilty of it sometimes. Sometimes I'm just checking a text or, you know, and that text turns into a business call or whatever that is. I have to shut it off. So it has been an evolution, especially after technology is like, you know, really racing along with us as we enter, you know, into, you know, the later 21st century, we have to put the brakes on. So we've just had to discipline ourselves to set things down and focus on each other and give each other eye contact and touch each other and smile and all those things that get sucked away when you're sucked into your device. So, right. You know, I love that you're, you talk about the whole technology because, you know, technology is literally at our fingertips and it can distract us and really take us off track on how it is that we're organizing our day and how we want to live our life. And what's interesting is that, you know, because we have technology at our fingertips, we sometimes forget, and you are, are such a great person at, at keeping this boundary, is that technology is really meant to be for our convenience, not that for everyone to interrupt us at, at every second and every turn to have that happen. And, you know, the other thing too is like, unless you're like a, you know, a heart surgeon or a first responder where, you know, someone needs you that very second, you know, it really is not going to be life threatening for you to return a call, you know, an hour later, a couple hours, or even the next day, you know, that timeliness of what it is. I mean, we want to be responsive to our clients and the people that we care about. However, it doesn't necessarily need to be in this moment that may affect the really the bigger purpose of why we're here and how we structure our day. Yeah, it's, it's funny. I, I'm still one of those few people that actually has a voicemail message on my phone for those people that actually leave a voice, but I still like, I'm old school. I, I like hearing people's voices. So, but my voicemail message says either I'm driving, I'm in a meeting or it's after 5.30. And if it's after 5.30, I'll get to you tomorrow. You're right. It's, I'm not a first responder. <laughs> Go ahead and get back to someone in the morning. So luckily what I do is not life threatening. So it's good. Although, you know, I'm very, I take care of my clients. If they have deadlines, I make sure that we meet them. Um, right, but we're right. preparing those ahead of time. So, right. yeah. Well, you know, I almost feel like you are going to be a lot more, actually more time your deadlines with people because you're really clear that when you're on with people, you're on. And, you know, those deadlines can happen by the end of the day that it, and it also supports your clients. That they're not up at all hours because people aren't being their best self when they're running themselves ragged, as particularly I think you've mentioned before is when you photograph that you can't Photoshop out stress. It's so, so true. Can you talk a little bit more about that? 
<laughs> yes, there's a lot of emotional preparation before I work with somebody because, um, you know, like I said, I can retouch pimples, no problem, but I can't retouch stress. <laughs> so it's really important that they show up, you know, completely open and almost like emotionally naked in a way where they just let things go away. Let things drop off. Just focus on being in the moment. And let's just have a good time as girlfriends, you know, in the camera room. And, you know, I make sure they're nourished, that they have food in their bellies, that they, you know, they that they're I'm not losing them, you know, losing their eye contact at all, like because they're starving themselves. It's like <laughs> the, the routines people do to prepare themselves for photo shoots. It breaks my heart. So I try to break those a little bit. It's like, no, you do need to eat. <laughs> do not starve <laughs> yourself, please. <laughs> right. So yeah, so I, it, it's, it's really important that, you know, like you said, I cannot retouch stress. So I really try to do a lot of work with people beforehand to make sure that they're emotionally prepared to step in and be seen in their best light. Yes, yeah, I love that. Yes, yeah. being in your being best, best life, I got to experience that with you. You know, in having that day, I mean, to me, that was like a spa life day where we got to, you know, really move and be in your genius of how you were able to pick up the colors that worked for me in a time of day and daylight, and you know, it was just so fun to be be part of your process and how it was so in tune with with who I am. So I I love that about you, and you really don't feel rushed like you really do go through this process where it's like you capture the moments that need to be captured but it's not a rush process it's really like this enfolding artistic thing which leads me to talk about this current buzzword that we're hearing all the time about i'm so busy you know yet we have the same 24 hours in a day so what is your spa life secret that allows for the most impact in your day stacy wow um it's just taking the moments in between the calls and, and making sure that you're scheduling your calendar so you're not so jam-packed. It's just creating that buffer in between. And you've been really great with me, Diane, and helping me, you know, really work on my calendar and scheduling my calls. So when I book my calls with my clients, it's not for an hour, it's for 50 minutes. So I have that little buffer in between if I have to have back-to-back -back calls. Um, and just like making sure I step away from my desk and I actually, I have a stand-up desk. So my husband and I invested in that two years ago and it has been a game changer for me. So I make sure, I'm not standing right now because it's easier for me to sit while I'm being interviewed, but right. many times I'm standing throughout my calls. And if I don't have to be in front of a shared screen situation, which I do often for my branding clients as we share screens, um, if I'm on a strategy session, I'm walking out of my backyard. So I make sure I'm just out in nature and I give myself a breather. Um, many times uh, my little dog is not sitting. I have my little dog, Boo. She's a little Shih Tzu. She's so cute. Many times she just sits right behind me if I am sitting down. So she kind of calms me down as well. So I really make sure that I just tap into um, the resources that I have around me, whether it's, you know, petting my dog to calm me down or, you know, reach, recheck my nervous system or connecting with my husband. He'll t many times sneak into my office and give me a kiss and we give you a little moment with each other, or we make sure that we take time and go have lunch together in the kitchen and, you know, create a nice snack together or go sit outside. So um, because I work from my home office and I don't have to go to my, my physical studio all the time, I have a little bit more freedom to kind of pace my day. And it's really important. I pace my day, right? Because I can't be my best self or my best coach for my clients unless I'm in a good place. So you help me find that, Diane. Ah, thank you. I appreciate that. You know, I love the fact that, you know, really creating that extra space. I mean, we both know people who have, they think that they're gaining more time by slamming one appointment up until the next. And, you know, obviously that's a, a process and a nuance that we need to have happen, but really just giving yourself a little bit of that extra time. I mean, I, I love that, that you take that extra, even just 10 minutes between things can really make a difference to have completion because we've talked a lot about open loops. And so if you don't have completion, that's where at the end of the day, and this is where people are working longer hours, is that they're having to make up two, three hours at the end of the day to complete all those open loops, which actually take longer amount of time because then you have to recall, what was it that I promised to that person? Where is that? Where is it in the stack? And there's all these things that happen with that. However, the more completes that you can have, get that information off right, 
be done with that, kind of like button that up, if you will, then you are more present for the next client that you're moving into. Yeah. And then also surrounding yourself with a really good team of people who can support your work and help you delegate those tasks to um, that's, that's been a really big game changer for me as well. So, right. Absolutely. I mean, you have a, a great team as well as I do. And I mean, you, you don't really make the, the strides that you do in the world, you know, by yourself, which is one of the things I love so much about spa life is about having the community, having the people around you that support the bigger vision that you have that, that support you in that. So I think that is fantastic. So. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. So Stacy, is there anything else that you'd like to share with our audience about what you're up to and, and what's going on with you? Oh, I'm just, I'm actually, I'm living the dream. You know, I woke up this morning um, with my husband and we just kind of laid there and we just said, what a great life. How blessed are we to be able to do the work in the world that we love and be surrounded by friends that really get us and care about us and have a beautiful family. We have three beautiful sons that all have amazing partners. And when we all get together as a family, it's so special. And we so appreciate every minute we get to spend with each other. Um, so we really, I just, just taking that moment to really appreciate everything in your world. Um, it was a great morning. That's all I can say. <laughs> Thank you for asking that question because it really was a, a great morning of reflection. And um, and I, I can't complain because I have wonderful clients and I'm creating wonderful brands and I get really excited for them and watching their, their business grow and life is good. Ah, so good. I love that. Well, uh, I also have this surprise question, if you will, for my clients and that, you know, um, and for my guests that I have on the show is, you know, we, again, we talked about your environment and how your environment supports you. And you've talked a lot about how you move, you know, in and out of your space and that you utilize it to really reflect the life and the business that you have. So what is your favorite room in your home and why? Oh, my bedroom. Hands down. Hands down. <laughs> <laughs> I call it my sanctuary. It's my place and it's just, it's just beautifully appointed. It really is. And my husband, um, excuse me one second. Okay. Sorry. A little distraction. My dog was about to bark. So I had to pull her aside. Okay. Um, so sorry. So this is boo. This is my little shit soon. Okay. Hey, boo. So, uh, <laughs> my husband, who's very handy. He made me the most beautiful walk-in closet. Um, if I was able to take you on a tour of my house, I would, but um, he took an old bedroom in our home and he punched the wall in our bedroom and created this beautiful sanctuary of um, private dressing basically is what it is. So I have, you know, space to see the clothes and he put these beautiful floral wallpaper up with a crystal chandelier and he just made it very girly. So, you know, in a home where we raised three boys, he gave me a really girly room. And so that's where I get to feel really, you know, girly and fun. So, yes. So my bedroom and my, yeah, <laughs> and my attached, yeah, that's right. You helped me organize my closet. That's right. And my attached um, walk-in closet is probably just a really, that's where I go to rest and relax, you know. So that is by far my favorite room in the house. So thank you for asking that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love that because, you know, it's funny, you know, a lot of times people will think about like their closet as just a place they can just like run in, grab their clothes. But your closet is really that first experience you have of the day of getting dressed and how you get to show up in the world. And so anything that you can do where that is something that it inspires you, that you grab the things that you love to wear, and it actually just starts you in, in a happy place for the day, uh, I think is so amazing. And you've just I mean, Daniel's help you create that and you just step into it each day. I mean, I really think that that contributes to how you show up in your brilliance every day. Oh, absolutely. And it's not stressful because the way you help me organize my closet, it's all color coded and I only have the clothes that really serve me. So I got rid of how many bags did we get rid of of clothes? I, I want to say six like garbage that. bags, like huge. Yeah. I mean, we didn't get rid of them. We donated them, but right. it was amazing. And so now I only really wear the clothes that I, I mean, I kept the clothes that I wear. So it's, it was really great. Your brilliance, Diane, I mean, has really been a blessing in my life. So it's helped me elevate and have this wonderful life that I love. 
Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's, it's so fun. I mean, obviously you, we always work with people that we love and that we want to support and help them. So I think that's something that you and I have been able to do together that has, uh, you know, served us and served our clients by really creating the, the environments that, that support on a, on a bigger level. So that's, that's pretty amazing. So Stacey, I know that our listeners are going to want to keep in touch with you. I think you have a, a little gift for them. I do. Um, you know, as you know, most of the people listening are entrepreneurs in their life or executives or authors. And I have a really wonderful free gift that you can find on my website. So if you go to um, myimageartist.com and you scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, you'll see um, a free gift. And it's the five must have photos every entrepreneur needs to be the face of their brand. So it's a quickie little ebook. It's about nine pages. You can read it in a few minutes and it really gives you a great guide. So that the next time you have a photo shoot, you know exactly the kind of shots that you need to help propel your brand forward. So go there and grab it. Um, like I said, it's free. And if you want to have a conversation, I'd love to talk with you. So I love that. And then uh, they can also get a hold of you personally. Yeah, they can, um, I have a contact uh, page on my website at imageartist, myimageartist.com, and they can reach me. That's the best way. Or you can reach out to me on Facebook as well. Okay. You can find me on Facebook at um, My Image Artist or Stacey Canfield, either one. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being here. It's always great to spend time with you and, you know, add this value to, to our our clients and our listeners and to, to really have them step into their face to their brand and see how they can organize their life so that they can live the spa life and, and be part of what it is that, that we're up to and, and what we're doing. And um, so with that one, thank you. Thank you so much for, for being here. And um, we will talk with you soon. And I want to just connect back here with our, with our listeners. And just for those of you who are maybe thinking, you know, I really want to step into my spa life. I know this is something that I want to look at my environments. I want to look at how I'm being. I want to be able to structure my day so that I can have my spa life where I can have a sense of accomplishment and harmony coexisting together. And if that's the case, I would love for, for you to go to uh, dianehalfman.com spa life. And I'd love to have a conversation with you about how it is that we can incorporate more spa life into your life. So with that, thank you for joining us. And as always, live your spa life. Bye for now.